Hello YouTube designers and welcome on to this tutorial. My name is Peter and on today's tutorial we're just going to learn how you can customize the post with Cadence theme and we're just going to learn how you get more features without installing a plugin with the Cadence theme. We're just going to learn how you can even customize a blog post and an archive post all for free with Cadence theme. So without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. Before we proceed, in the last tutorial I created a tutorial where you can just learn how to add a membership plan all paid plan to your eco uh, to your blog website and the link on the description check it out and without further ado let's now get into what to destroy you so what you just need to do you need to just go to uh we need to check out the theme that i'm using you can see i'm using kidness theme and it has an update let's update just take a few seconds after you just updated uh theme you can find now it's let it and updated so what you need to do we need to go to appearance and select customize or you can click here on the customize and on the customize setting uh on the customize we find so many settings and we need to set up the blog page uh the blog post and all that so let's open the blog this is the archive and all you just need to select this blog post and you can first of all we are going to customize this archive page and select archive and with this this is where you want there is this header uh, this archive page you don't this one i think is this one i uh, where do you want it you can decide to first of all uh disable it uh let's find so all selecting content you find it has been uh, now incorporated with the archive and you can have it above here and if you don't need it you just have to close it like that with that you have removed the, the page name or the uh, archive title here yeah, which was recipe from there now we proceed down here uh title element here we have the title element uh it's supposed to be here so do you want to add some breadcrumbs if you want to show this uh archive um sorry if you want to show this breadcrumbs you need to come here and activate you need to come here and activate the archive title so the few thing we need to just few set before you proceed there is a container do you want where do you want this one is it contained full width or you want it as standard you may not see the impact or the effect part i want to use it uh the content post archive title alignment you want it to be in the center right here in center do you want it to be on the light section or in the left section you can customize it the way you want from there you can uh increase the height here you can say to increase like that or you can decrease to just list the maximum and you can find the maximum here it seems like 100 or 110 pixel is there is the uh, minimum all uh, minimum pixel you can just compress the height and the title if you don't want to have this or this you can decide to close and you can also decide to close it from here and you just that you remove but you see you still have this container and if you remove this uh, description it still remains so the, the only way you can remove it you can activate all these like this and you can close it from here with that we have just moved that so let's now go to the archive layout here so in the inside here the archive layout you're going to customize all these which is on the middle so how do you want them to be uh to be aligned uh the layout to look like we have the normal this is a normal one you can have the narrow and you can see they somehow compressed and you can have it in the full page to be full width you can see how it have and if you want to add a sidebar either left or right you just have to come and select here it will add it all for you yeah you can see let me just first of all look don't have one we don't have a sidebar which is lady but yeah you can see they just leave the space for the sidebar with that i want to have it as normal which is the archive sidebar if you want to have a specific sidebar as a default you can just uh, go to setting 
let me see if we can make it go to setting uh, go to dashboard and from here widget and with that we have sidebar one and sidebar two and all you need to do is uh drag some few element here and there and we have listen post we have search like that and you can have some listen comment as a sidebar two and you can also have category yeah and uh, like that and just like that and all you just need to do is just leave it the way just click here done done we close these ones yeah so now we have the sidebar one and we have the sidebar two so when you just customize it and say sidebar two let's see if it will work uh sorry it's supposed to be here yeah you can see now we have the sidebar one and we have the if you want to select the sidebar two just have to select it and you have it there so with that now we go to content layout we have here which is unboxed i have selected and box and we can select boxed you can see maybe you not see the impact here but you can see here we have a line which has developed and when you just click on boxed it just disappears like that so let me just get back to normal here so here now we come now how you can just select uh you can add the post archive and columns here so you may have it two you may have it three or four it will depend on how you want them to be laid out i may select for two for now like that you can see how it look like and even if you go to tablet like that see how it look like and on mobile that how it will look like yeah so let's get back to this uh, desktop mode so now we go to post item layout now we are here on the post you can say to have here on the feature day if you want to add feature the image here if you want to close it just click here and with that you have closed the feature the image like that and if you don't want to have this category here you can decide it to close it all depends on what you want from here so from there you can come here to like the featured image and you can come here and you can select how you want it if you want this image to have a link to a post select it to just if you don't want this miss uh, this image to have a link to a post this means that when you just go to my post the blog here and I come to Lespy and I click on the image, it just direct me to the post page. So if I select, I don't want it, and I publish here, and I refresh here, I get back, and I click on the image, you see nothing happens. So I want to leave it as this, like that, and I publish. So you come now here to category, and on category, you can see here we have the divider. You can decide to have one you want. It will depend on your favorite, but for me, I'll choose this one. Ah, the style, we have no more, we have peel. You can choose the style you want. How, you can see how it has been aligned, uh, the way it has been highlighted. And we still have another one, so let me use peel. And from there, we now get to title. This title here, uh, you can decide to close it or not. Let's now get to meta here this one here how do you want it to who do you want to be included here we have the uh the other and we have uh the other link and you can also still have the other image there you see you can add it you can increase the size and then you can see by or you can move this by or it's a little by little by all approved by you it all depends on how you want to customize your website so let me say i want to have approved by approved by here you have it like that and from here it all depend on uh, date label you can say it posted on it all it will just but if you don't want it you can remove it and uh you can say published by published on it all depend on how you can can you want to customize this 
like that. If it's something that is expected for uh, regular update, you can say should last updated. And you can come here and say updated like that. It all depend on how you it all depend on uh, how you want. Yeah, updated on. It all depend. You can come also to kind of show in category here, but I don't want to show the category because we have added the category here. And you can come here and say comment. You can add if you want to show how many comments are available for the particular post. You can have it from there. So from there now we proceed to accept this one here is what we call the accept. So do you want to show the full content? If you want to show the full content, you can click here and you have the full content here. But I cannot uh, suggest to have full content for every post. You can see how the archive page will look like. So let me close here. How many words do you want to have? I may want to say, let me say, I want to have 20 words for each post like that. And just that we have just made a small bit of the except, a uh, small spice and make sure you like something that can, uh, that can make someone to even wish to open the post. So from there, we go to read more, this one read more here. So I just want to customize it. You can uh, uh, decide to add maybe view the post like that. View the post. You can like something you want. You can customize. That's the best thing about Cadence Team. It's very open and I'm using the free version. So from there, now we go to design. We can design all these again. So we click on design. Now here we come. Uh, title here we don't have the title for now so the description the breadcrumb those are the one here you can customize and add some colors and with that let me just activate them so we can see how we, what we are just talking about let me just uh, set them in the center like that or i can have it here to look like uh, something good so so now we come here to title the text color i want it to be red uh the description color I want it to be led also. We don't have the description. I don't know how far I want it to be at Kara. So the breadcrumbs, I want it to be led. Let's see here. And on how far I want it to turn green. So let's see. Let's see how get back. Just lost track minute. Yeah, get back. So on how far you can see. On Hofa, just on green. So from there, archive uh, title background, you can change the background here and you can say to have another different color. Don't depend on how you want it to. Let me use something like black and that link it back to color and I take it to lead or I can take it to white like that. It will depend on how you can just want to customize it. From there, now we come to border and we can add something like 50. Uh, that was a uh, margin. Let me use this as one. And let me, you can increase another border. It's all about increasing the, the width of the borders. If you want to have a different borders, you can add something like that and you can increase something like five and you can also add something like five like that it will depend on how you want it to be so you can see how it look like and the board over here you can have something like so let me have here something like five and here you have something like five and the bar color i want it to be blocked like that so i little messed up somehow so now we come to you can even change the the front here you just have to click here and increase the height you can also select uh, i want to be like bold italic like that suppose change sorry now we are here uh you just now to archive layout and here you can even change the color which color do you want the heading to look like you can see you can select the one you want 
like that and you can say uh, you can select the size I wanted to inherit and here you can just even preview how it look like so item category color here we have the category let's just uh, check yeah this one here and uh, the category color it was zero initially and you can change it something like that and on how far you can decide to have it the way it is and and let me see but how it look like it don't depend on how you just want it to happen or you just want it to look like you can set all these and you can come let me just keep all this you can preview them and check all that so now we go to side background here the side background here which type of background do you want to have for the side it may not be visible but let me so uh, here in the content background you can change to something which is not really dark like that it will depend on how you just want to have it and just that all I need to do is publish and when I come back here and I refresh I'll be able to see so many changes you can see how we have changed and customized a lot of it so you can come and select like for the heading i don't really like the front this one here so i don't really like the front it just directed me to a post so let me so with that yeah you can see this color doesn't look really pleasing so let me get back to the initial one and i took yeah that how it will look like let's just leave it the way it is but you can take the, uh, this setting too far and customize to create something good from there now uh, we go to single post layout here we have now the single post layout we just open one post here and you can customize all of it so we have the post uh the post you want to show the post title it's good when you show it like that yeah if you don't want to show it just like the way you did for the other one no much i will not uh, mind much about this one because the book or we spoke on the other one so now we come to the default layout here we have uh, the normal you can just change the layout and you see how it look like and for if you want to add sidebar here just select one with the sidebar here and you can select which sidebar you want to have like that to be good when you just have the sidebar like that and uh, content vertical padding let me uh, enable show featured image this one here and uh, how do you want it to look like you have the stretch for and uh, you can see but you have the white you can select the image ratio i want to leave it the way it is and you can add even the show the post other box here let me see here we have the post other here and uh, just that in the related uh similar post you can add how many columns do you want to have it will depend on how you just want it to have uh, to happen on how many posts you want to have just that my all my setting can set because the thing we need to do is you go to design and you can design the way we did for the post layout that we can use less plugin in our in our website and this cadence theme seem to be one of the solution for that the other themes you need to install some few plugins you need to have this and that for you to achieve so many feature that we have just achieved all for free with the cadence theme if you got something out of this tutorial hit the subscribe button and remember to like this tutorial it will help this channel to grow thank you